how to deal with rejection. Now, dealing with rejection is never easy. We're human beings, we love to be accepted, and when we get that no, it's not a good feeling. So today we're gonna to talk about how to deal with it. Now, first thing you gotta do is you have to dust it off and try again, okay? First of all, don't even call it rejection. Use another term, call it a trial. It's a trial. And basically, you gotta try again because before you get one yes, it's likely the, the, the supreme being will get 10 no's before he gets one yes. So just be ready for at least 10 no's before you get one yes. And it, results do vary. So it could be even more. So just be, be, be prepared. Just know it's a trial and error process. So pick it up again, another one. Try again, another one. We never give up. Don't stop, can't stop, won't stop. Listen to me. Should I repeat? Don't stop, can't stop, won't stop. Okay, now that you're doing that, you have to level up because sure, you could try again and try again, but if you're doing the same thing and expecting different results, you're insane. So yeah, try get some feedback on what you're doing. Are you doing everything well? Are you, can you do something better? Learn, learn, open up the internet. They're relationship gurus. They're, they're all types of gurus who will give you some information. They'll show you how to level up, level up, level up, man. If you gotta hit the gym, hit the gym. If you need to get better clothes, do that. Need to um, trim your beard, do what you gotta do to increase your chances, right? Work on yourself in a nutshell. All right, so now you're working on yourself, you're persistent, you're, you're, you're persistent, you're persistent and you're working on yourself. Now, those, those two already will help you overcome rejection. You'll be able to deal with it and you know, you'll keep your chin up regardless and that's a good thing. Now, you have to be a whole person. When I say a whole, I, wanna, I, I mean you have to find a way to be complete, a complete person even without the outcome. You know, it's, it's, it's like they always say, before you find the right one, she, she or he or the right person should not complete you. You should already be complete. Hopefully that person is complete and you two join forces and you make the supreme being couple or power couple, whatever you want to call it, right? So how do you do this? It's easier said than done. How are you gonna be complete without having that thing that you also want? Now, my advice to you is to love the journey. It's a journey. And if you love the process, if you love the hustle, you're in a great spot to be complete with or without the outcome, right? And how do you love the hustle? You change the indicator. You're like, instead of you attaining the final product, the lady, the baby, you should love the riz. You should love the process of, you know, luring, of wooing the princess, queen, whatever you want to call her. So there you go. Love the process. And trust me, you'll overcome, you'll deal with rejection in a way that has never been done before by you, all right? Let me know how that goes.